As I look out here, the first thing I see is my brother. Excuse me. And he both empowers me, but also makes me mad, more mad than I have ever been growing up in this country. This is a country that everybody around the world expects for us to do the right thing. And the right thing is all the things that people were talking about today. The right thing is, yes, the young people are going to have to take the load of some of this. But we have to also take a load, those of us who have more de de decades on, to be able to bring to people some of the things that they need to know, and also some of the things that we did wrong, and the, some of the things that we did right. Because, and, and one of them is the issue in terms of people not wanting purpose, uh, right in, the, in, in, in some of the um, communist um, organizations, there, there was fights about what's gonna happen in terms of the, the, the resolutions that were being put forth before them about nationhood, about self-determination, and what that means to the party. That was some people's. But Lenin's view was that you're wrong. The colonists that have, are in everybody's communities up to the now, even with all their bases that they have in everybody's uh, uh, place, we should take these the questions still, because they still exist, to people to ask them. Because when I leave here, I'm taking the brother's line. When you leave a meeting like this about the stuff that we're talking about, you need to have a plan about what you're going to do when you get home. You better have a plan on what organization that you're going to stick with, what organization you might not. You're going to, everybody knows, or, or they have really, those people, all the people sitting here and others know what the problems are. What the people don't know is how can we fight back and when, because where there, there's oppression, there is going to be resistance. And the, re, the resistance, that's what we need to infer, that, 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 that fire in people. We can't, we have to talk to our children, the people that are in schools. We have to talk about our, our elders who will say, I'm waiting for you all to tell us about this, because we do need to get on this. Your neighbor, where you shop, when people say that I don't know how to do this, you talk to people all the time. Take that time that you're talking to them about telling them what the imperialists are, who they are, because they've been lying all these years. We need to have our own instruments to be able to get all of the truth out there. And we do need to be united because they know what works, the, the imperialists. It always works. If you can get people uh, um, separate from each other, whether it's in the workplace, or whether it's in school, or whether it's anywhere in this country, that they're trying to always come out with somebody that they could blame their stuff on. So it's always somebody else that made this happen. It was somebody else's foolishness to even think that certain these things should be been, been addressed, addressed to you. So we need to do that. And I, I came here with a different piece to say, <laughs> but I'm not doing that to myself or to you. <laughs> but I, I, I mean, I have, these are the, are the pa packages that deal with the Negro question at that time, and also um, South Africa. It was the same thing, and they won. They won that they're those resolutions that were gonna go in, and they're gonna stay in, and they're gonna be honored wherever, wherever you are. Because it was very important, because some of the people were acting like more like the people who were oppressing us in South Africa, 
and also in terms of the nation that's mainly designed in the south of this, of this, this United States. So we have to build, go back to some history, but we also have to come up with new ways and better ways to get to people and to talk to them. I mean, a lot of times people are using films now to take some of the young people back that weren't there when something happened. And, they, and one that sticks in my mind was when some uh, professor showed um, some young high school students about the civil rights, um, um, I'm sorry. No, the, it was the one when they, when they took the, ch the children's march in the South. And they had never heard about that. And just to say, most people don't because they're not giving them that information in school. They want to now burn all the books and everything. But so they sat there, and at the end, they said, those children are the same age we are. And we said, yeah. And she said, and they did all of that? Yes. She got up, she said, well, we can do it here. And they organized the, uh, the walk here, the over the, up in Brooklyn from over to um, the city hall. The thing is, I'm trying to not do it too, I'm not, I'm 78, give me a little break. I don't, can't pull all my words together as I used to. But the point that I'm trying to get to is that we are going to fight and continue to fight whatever ages we are, and we are going to be successful. But we can't leave meetings like this without a, a plan for what we're going to do when we leave here. Uh, and who are we going to talk to? I was in one of these kind of gatherings, and somebody got up and said, OK, who, when we leave here, whose house are you going to? Who's, when you make your phone call, who are you going to call? What are you going to talk about? You know, and, and, and this works because people start out with organizing by going to the leaders or, uh, that, is, that are in the place. They, you don't need to be there, but if you're in a, in, a, in a workplace and you are the ones that somebody always comes to to try to get help when things go wrong with the bosses, you're the one that should be organizing there. So you go around and you find those kinds of people and, and that's in every community. Any community to go, there's people like that. And so that we have to span it out. We can't just leave it in a hovel because we know what was in the papers that Lenin wrote. We have to take it to the people that don't know what they said, he said, or who he is, and then tear down the, the, the way that communism and imperialism is thought and put in the minds of the people, we must change that. And one way, when I first started with knowing about all of this, I had to go and find more information. And I had to not be afraid that somebody's gonna call me a communist or a socialist. And I never, never kept that away from anybody, never. But I had to tell the people what that meant. And some people would come up to you and say, oh, yeah, you can't be, what? I said, well, tell me what is socialism about? What, what did they tell you? And I said, no, it's, that's not it. And then I just explained it to them. And they said, oh, that's what it means? Uh, what is imperialism? So we have to take time because people have been inoculated with toxic bullshit in this country. <laughs> And we need to clean out their minds. And that's why that brother makes me cry. What did he say? Take the chains off your, of your head. That's the first place. So we have to encourage you. Don't be afraid. Don't think that somebody's going to do something to you because you talk like that. Now, you know there's some snakes in everywhere, so you don't tell them about it. But <laughs> you tell, you tell, we have to do this. And it doesn't, anything that all of the people, Harriet Tubman, all these people, how did they do it? They just damn did it. They just damn did it. They said, I'm going to do it, and that's what I'm going to do. And if you don't want to come with me, if you do come with me and get scared, you're going to get dead. <laughs> so we have to, people have to know the heroic people and what they did 
not to just get, give them plateaus, oh yes, that's wonderful, but it's because it tells you you can do it yourself. And it's not on one person. We don't have no messiahs. You put your foot down on the, on, the, on the ground and you march with everybody else and you organize with everybody else. You don't leave it for somebody else to do it. That's not the kind of movement we're talking about. Because even if you do it, you're not going to last very long. Everybody has to be a leader. Everybody has to be a communist. Everybody has to be against the, the, uh, uh, the, this whole country the way that it's built. And everybody needs to deal with the issues in terms of, that we don't want to talk about, of, of color, of racism. You know, because all of this is like trying to say one group of people are better than us, and therefore we could kill them, we can go to their cemeteries and dig them up. You know, we can do anything but the right thing. So we need to find out radio stations, more radio stations in your community, get online with them. Everywhere we should be around to get all the messages up because the times ain't going to do it for you. Thank you.